Ah, oh, good morning, family. Brave in that geyser of a storm outside. So brave, so brave. Oh, let's get to our feet and worship. I had a friend that used to correct me. He was a friend of mine in church, and, uh, you know, there, there are some songs that have a little fun with the English language, and he was quite the, the grammar police, and there's a song that we'd sing, it can't nobody do me like Jesus. He says, it was like nails on the chalkboard. I mean, anyone heard that song? Can't nobody do me like the Lord. And there was another one that, that said, I wouldn't take nothing for my journey right now. You know, if you're an English teacher, I apologize for that. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't take nothing for my journey right now. And how many are like that? Yeah. The longer I serve him, the sweeter he grows. That's another song. Uh, we're not singing any of those. Uh, we're singing one says it gets sweeter as the days go by. Isn't that the truth? Isn't that the truth? It gets sweeter, sweeter, sweeter. Two, three, four. The more I trust him, the more I love him, nothing good for me to deny. The longer I know him, the better I can show him. I couldn't stop now if I try. Oh, it gets sweeter, it does, as the days go by. It gets sweeter as the moments fly. His love is richer, deeper, fuller, it gets sweeter, 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 sweeter as the days go by. Oh, you know the moment he saved me, his good grace he gave me, he placed his love down deep in my heart. There's great joy in knowing that him I am going, and never more from him to depart. Oh, it gets sweeter as the days go by. It gets sweeter as the moments fly. His love is richer, deeper, fuller. It gets sweeter, 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 sweeter as the days go by. Come on, sing it, ladies. As the moments fly, richer, deeper, fuller, sweeter, 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 sweeter as the days go by. Oh, it gets sweeter as the days go by. It gets sweeter. And Pastor, I want to do something before. All right, this is how we're going to sit down. This is how we're going to sit down. If you've been saved five years or less, have a seat. If you've been in the Christian church saved five years or less, have a seat. Ten years or less, have a seat. If you've been a Christian ten years or less, have a seat. Oh, we got, we got some saints in here, Pastor. Twenty years or less. If you've been saved twenty years or less, have a seat. Thirty years or less, have a seat. 40 years or less, have a seat. 50 years, 60 years, well, right around there. You know, we stand on the shoulders of those that have gone before us. That's what Newton says, right? We stand on, those, on the shoulders of giants. 
and those that have gone before. So it gets sweeter, sweeter, sweeter. Yeah, the relationship with Jesus Christ is one of those privileges. Mr. Bettleton, how long has it been? 70 years, years, praise God. (laughs) And after 70 years, I mean, you you eat chocolate ice cream. I'll speak my language. You eat Rocky Road with thick marshmallow in it, ice cream. Every meal for every day for 70 years, and you got problems, right? There's nothing, no matter how much you like it, for over 70 years, it might not quite be the same thing uh, after decades. Well, You stay close to Jesus, and it's the sweetest thing ever. Seventy years under your belt, and it's sweeter than day one if you're walking in step with His Spirit. And that's uh, some of you guys that sat down at the 10-year mark. Well, we have a 70-year mark here who would give testimony to the sweetness of the relationship with Jesus Christ of what it is today. Um, And so keep walking with Him. And if if the relationship's gotten a little stale, right? Could we just... Anybody here ever experienced staleness in your relationship with Jesus Christ at some point? Yeah. yeah. And that can happen, right? And that's not a his end thing. That's an our end thing. And so if your relationship with Jesus Christ has gotten a little bit stale and, and you say, you know what, I, I hear Lon and the others talk about sweetness in their relationship with Jesus. I'm not experiencing that right now. Well, today can be a turning point for you, yeah. right? Uh, because he's he is sweet, right? We can taste and see that the Lord is good. He, he is sweet on his end. The, the, uh, God is there. And so if we'll, if we'll turn our hearts, if we'll open ourselves to him, if we'll surrender to him in a fresh way, recommit ourselves in a fresh way, then man, the sweetness can start flowing again today. And So just know that's available for you. That's available for you online. Anybody who's tuning in today, uh, that your relationship with Jesus Christ can be sweet. Day after day, year after year, decade after decade, and we're thankful for that because Jesus really is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. Well, welcome to church. You are the church. You make this place what it is, right? Otherwise, this is just a building. You know, we could be running cattle through here. You know, this is a church because you're here, because we meet in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and bring his spirit into this place, and uh, we're thankful. We're thankful for the opportunity to gather together in his name and worship him in spirit and in truth. Just a couple reminders of uh, uh, the way we're doing things during this present season. As you came in either ent- entrance, you saw tables with some wristbands on it. For those that are um, new or newly back to the church, uh, we use a wristband system during this season just to communicate kind of what our comfort zone is with contact. Um, green means, hey, Slap me a high five, tackle me in the ground, kick me around. I'm okay with contact. contact. Um, you can tell I'm missing football. Something just happened there. I don't know. <laughs> uh, and, you know, um, so green is wide open. Uh, yellow means I, I'd love to talk with you, but I, I don't necessarily want you to touch me. You know, I want to keep a little bit of physical distance. Uh, red means, hey, I, I'm here in church, and I'm thankful to be here in church, but I'd like to just keep my distance, you know, but, and, and we're thankful for the ability for people to put on red bracelets that otherwise, if they couldn't have that boundary and separation, they would not come to church, you know, and so we're thankful for that ability that people would be able to be here and worship in the presence of God together as the family of God, uh, but have the red bracelet on. So respect each other's uh, boundaries and where they're coming from, and, uh, and we'll worship Jesus Christ together out of mutual reverence for God. Um, as you'll see in your seat backs, uh, underneath the seats, depending on where you're sitting, you'll find bulletin packets. In those bulletin packets, you have connect card, offering envelopes, and of course a bulletin uh, and a pen. Uh, anything that you are, any materials you're done with and don't need when you're leaving, you can leave those in the seats and we'll gather those up. But just know those p- packets were just put back out uh, for you. Uh, that were packaged together uh, in a sanitary way uh, earlier in the week. And so just know that that's available for you. Um, Offering envelopes can be dropped at either black uh, box offering station on your way out. And also those connect cards I mentioned are precious to us. We love these as an opportunity for feedback, uh, to know you were here, updated information. When you turn those cards over, you can write a prayer request. And if you write a prayer request, uh, just know you are feeding people who are hungry to pray throughout the week. We have several prayer teams that get those prayer request lists, and they love to pray for you and support you that way. And so please take advantage of that any week. Or, of course, you can go onto our uh, website anytime at ogamahills.org. And one of the three big icons there is for prayer, because that's a priority of the church. And you can put a prayer request on there anytime, and that goes through our prayer teams as well. 
At this time, I'd like to ask you to take a physical posture of worship. Typically, we ask you to stand, uh, but take a physical posture of worship, uh, something that makes it easy for you to connect with the Spirit of Jesus Christ as we worship Him in song. Let's pray together. Lord, we thank You for Your goodness. We thank You for the privilege of being in Your presence. You are God, and there's no one like You. And we thank You, Lord, for... Lord, you're the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. You are the great I Am. Time does not constrain you like it does us. And Lord, you've known that this time was coming since the beginning of time. Lord, you've known all these things. And God, you have intentions for this next hour, 45 minutes or an hour that we have together. You have intentions, Lord. And God, our heart is to glorify you. Our heart is to worship you. Our heart is to offer our our whole self to you as an expression of what you mean to us. So won't you come, Lord, and meet with us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. You know, this Christian walk is not easy. It gets sweeter, but it's not easy. But the relationship is simple, right? Connection with God is simple. The daily walk gets a little tough. But the relationship is simple. God is about trying to make things simplified. You know, when Jesus came, he came to fulfill the law. And he said, you know, there's ten commandments. I'm going to make them two. You can do all these ten if you just love the Lord, your God, with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Love your neighbor as yourself. And even Paul, he's like, you know, all these things that are out there, I I don't consider myself to mastering all of them, but there's this one thing I do, this one thing, and that is pressing on, right? Pressing on towards that goal. We come this morning in our worship just with a childlike heart. And we worship in simplicity. I come in simplicity. Longing for purity To worship you In spirit and truth Only you Lord, strip it all away Till only you I'm coming back to my first love, only you. And you're the reason I sing, the reason I sing. Yes, my heart will sing. How I love you And forever I'll sing Forever I'll sing Yes, my heart will sing How I love you I come with a broken song To you the perfect one To worship you in spirit and truth Only you Give me a childlike heart Lead me to where you are I'm coming back to my first love Only you And you're the reason And you're the reason I sing The reason 
reason I sing. Yes, my heart will sing how I love you. And forever I'll sing, forever I'll sing, yet my heart will sing how I love you. Tell them now. How first love how I love you how I love you how I love you my first love we're gonna say that again how I love you how I love you tell them church how I love you, how I love you, my first love, my first love, how I love you, how I love you, how I My first love, and you're the reason, and you're the reason I sing, the reason I sing, yes, my heart will sing how I love you, and forever. Sing forever, I'll sing. Yes, my heart will sing how I love you. We love you, Lord, because you first loved us. His love. His loving kindness, his compassions are new every morning. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your compassion. Grace that we don't deserve. We look around and follow the news, get online, and we see what well, chaos. Things are bad. We think sin is just all over the place, and it is. But I'm encouraged, and we know by Scripture, that where sin abounds, grace does much more abound. You believe that? Amen. This song says, you know, where our sins are many, your mercy is more. Praise the Lord. His mercy is more Stronger than darkness New every morn Our sins they are many His mercy is What love could remember no wrongs we have done? Omniscient, all-knowing, he counts not their sums. Thrown into the sea without bottom or shore. Our sins, they are many, his mercy is more. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. His mercy is more, stronger than darkness, new every 
more our sins they are many his mercy is more yes it is what patience would wait as we constantly roam what father so tender is calling us home he welcomes the vilest the vilest the poor our sins they are many his mercy is more praise the Our sins, they are many, His mercy is more. What rich of kindness he lavished on us his blood was the payment his life was the cause we stood neath the debt we could never afford our sins they are many his mercy is more so much more sing it now praise the Lord his mercy is more stronger than darkness new every morn our sins they are many his mercy is more praise the lord his mercy is more stronger than darkness new every morn our sins they are many his mercy is our sins our sins they are many his mercy is more our sins they are many his mercy is more lord we're so thankful for your mercy your mercy that's new every morning because of your faithfulness. And Lord, it's because of our unfaithfulness that we're in desperate need of mercy. But Lord, in your faithfulness, you pour out mercy new every morning. Lord, it's because of your mercy that we're, we're not consumed. Lord, you, you create us for the very purpose of loving mercy. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, God, that by your grace you say that if, if we're merciful, we receive mercy. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for this gift of mercy. Lord, you have covered over sin and invited us into relationship, invited us into righteousness, invited us into to holiness, to standing pure before you. We thank you, God. We ask you, Lord, in our, in our neediness, and our desperation, won't you move among us as your people? Here in the sanctuary at home, Lord, won't you move among us as your people? Meet needs, impart your spirit. May we make your name great. Use us, God, as you see fit. And we thank you and praise you forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. You may be seated. You know that old saying about the, well, how do you know the difference between grace and mercy? That, that grace is receiving what we could never earn and never deserve. And mercy is not receiving what we full well deserve. Right? Grace versus mercy. And we're thankful for the grace and mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ. Well, thank you to Brad Older for preaching last week. Awesome creative word. Making me look boring as he preaches back to the future and does cool stuff like that. But thank you, Pastor Brad, for, uh, 
um, preaching that message last week, and um, also just wanted to make everybody aware, uh, because in just a moment, uh, for those watching in the live stream or watching online, we are going to end the live stream in just a moment, because we have some guest ministers with us that minister in sensitive ways around the world, and so uh, we need to respect that, and so we're going to end the live stream in just a moment, but we wanted to uh, remind people online, but also those that are present with us, that just beginning this last Wednesday, we're doing midweek content as well. Our own Jeff France that plays bass and guitar uh, most weeks on the worship team, he shared a devotional last week that was posted on our Facebook page on Wednesday. Wednesday, and we're going to have another midweek uh, devotional, midweek message, midweek word uh, from here on out on Wednesdays. And so for those online uh, that we're going to need to tune out in just a moment, please know that Wednesday there's more coming. And so we're going to continue doing some things. So at this time, we're going to end the uh, live stream. May the Lord bless you richly in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.